You can see it's in a pretty bad state here. Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. Over the past four years we have been on some epic adventures around the world. Now, after converting an old van into our new home on wheels, we are ready to hit the road and explore the wonders of Europe. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey and let the adventure begin. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> Yesterday we did some really good work with the van. Uh, we managed to build the whole bed frame. Yes. And it is pretty sturdy and that is absolutely awesome. I wasn't sure it was our first major construction we've ever done in our life. So <laughs> we weren't sure if we were going to make it work. But, <laughs> but yeah, using all these L brackets, we managed to fix most things together. And then underneath, you can see there's some, there's a T bracket. Oh. <laughs> but underneath you can see there's a, also a T bracket here to hold this together. Yeah, it's pretty, it's a pretty sturdy construction, I would say. Yeah, hopefully we can try it out later when it's finished. <laughs> yeah, so the plan for today, um, we have to deal with this. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, it's nothing structural, but uh, yeah, we've got a, a bit of a hole in this in this back hatch, <laughs> a bit of a rust hole. So we've got a three part method for dealing with this, which we only found out yesterday. Um, so the first thing we have to do is put this stuff on it, which is hammerite, and it converts rust into a stable surface in just 15 minutes. <laughs> so, so this I don't will know be what hopefully it's gonna all be stable in 15 minutes. I have no idea what that's going to do. Um, and then next thing you do <laughs> is you fill it with as much of this as possible. So it's just a repair body filler. And then third, we uh, put some paint on it, some... Um, and that will help to prevent the rust from coming back. So, as you can see, if I lift this up, you can see, you can see it's in a pretty bad state here. So we have to, we have to wire brush that and um, treat it and uh, fill it, paint it, and we'll see how we get on. So this is our first task for today. Wish yeah. us luck. <laughs> shake, shake well. Okay. So it says pour the required amount into the container. I don't know. Apply to the rusty area, working well into the pitted areas. I just put. Uh, yeah, just start with that. Just, just don't touch it on your hands, I guess. <gasps> uh, it doesn't say actually. <laughs> okay, let's see. So. I guess just like this. Probably. Yeah, exactly. Ensure all exposed rust is treated. Watch as it turns blue black while reacting with the rust. Okay. Okay, I think that's okay now. Yeah, that's step one done. <laughs> so we just wait for that to dry um, or do whatever it's supposed to do. <laughs> Yeah. And then we can um, put our filler on. So, on today's I Know Nothing About DIY, I've traced a line which matches the side of the van. Um, I saw this online with a, with a CD, but we couldn't use a CD, so I made this thing. And so, basically what I've done is I've just held it like this, and I've traced the line of the side of the van with the ruler and the pencil and now the point is hopefully if we then put this line on our board over there which you can see on the ground if we trace this line onto that board we should be able to cut that out and then hopefully when we lay the board in it fits nice and snugly up against the edge of the van but will it work who knows we'll have to give it a go
Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, eh? It's okay, eh? Here, it's like, oh. Yeah. Yeah, nice. So now I'm going to try to fill this hole here with the filler paste. <laughs> Let's see if that works. So I will mix at first the paste. That's oh. pretty, that's pretty smelly. That's pretty smelly. Wow. Actually, This turned out amazing. Look at this. This is so solid. So after the rust treatment and after the filler and then after the paint, the metal paint on top, it's now an amazing surface. And let me just lift this up so you can see the other side. So on the outside, what was once a massive hole is now completely filled no more air coming inside or, or water coming inside the van. That is amazing. Okay, so the doors of our van don't lock. Uh, the barrels are totally broken. So we purchased this Milenko van deadlock. The idea is that we central lock all the doors. We unlock the sliding door, come outside and then lock the deadlock and then it's all secure. So I'm gonna try and fit this. It's got this handy guide that you stick on the door and then you've got these two pieces like this and like this. So I've got to drill holes, four holes in the bodywork. Then I have to screw in some self-tapping screws into here and then fit the lock together. So let's give it a go. Woo! Not exactly, I just broke the uh, bloody bit. Shit, is it stuck in there or what? Oh damn, I just realised that. Okay, so we've broken the bit. Um. <laughs> Okay, so the holes are drilled and now we have to try to fit these self-tapping screws into it. So, that goes like that and that goes like that. Look at that. But now I'm going to try and fit these, these screws. solid if you ask me. And that's it. 
Let's see Malenko door lock. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> we are finally on to the final part of the build, the final day. So today we have been doing a bit of stuff here, there and everywhere, gluing, patching, all kinds of stuff. And um, we've been preparing the mattress and getting everything ready, getting the curtains ready. So we're finally to the most beautiful and exciting moment. We are gonna finally put everything in the van and get it all sorted. So the first step is to screw the boards down and then we can basically load all the stuff in. So let's get going. So what we had to do, because like you can see, we had to cut the mattress, we had to cut it L out. So that means we had to cut and sew together our uh, sheet as well. So we got luckily a... uh, Ollie's mom is very trained and very good. She's great with a sewing machine. So she made us like a very nice construction. Let's yeah. see if it works. It's custom built, <laughs> custom built. Okay, next step, I think curtains. <laughs> From one of the rooms in our house and we just stole it. Exactly, <laughs> it, it was hanging there anyway for 20 years already. So we, <laughs> we thought it would be time for something new in the house and something new for our van. <laughs> um, we bought this rail online on Amazon. Just twist, that's it. As well, donation from from Ollie's mom. <laughs> <laughs> How it is? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. <laughs> That's oh, not that bad nice. at all. That's wow. Nice. And this is a 190 centimeter long bed, and at this point is 135 centimeters. So exactly the specifications of a double. It only narrows towards the end, so we actually nearly, nearly get a double bed in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes! Oh yes! <laughs> so that concludes our van build. Uh, this is the finished result and I absolutely love it. With our limited skills, very, very limited skills. No skills at all. Um, I'm really happy with what we managed to create here. I mean, this is um, much better than I ever expected it could be. <laughs> exactly. Really. Hopefully it will take us through whole Europe. <laughs> yeah. This is ready for an adventure. Definitely. Sure. Definitely. I'm very excited about that. Let's go for a drive. <laughs> <laughs>
enjoyed watching this video, you would help us a lot by subscribing to the channel by clicking here. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We will see you next time.